What's going on y'all, it's your boy Chase Vibes back with another video. As y'all can see from the title, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an experimental sample in the style of Wheezy, so let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Max. y'all so i'm going to be breaking down this sample that i made from my new sample library called existence uh, available on drumify.com if y'all want to go check that out but um yeah so this is what the loop sounds like and quick fact real quick warhol actually got on this loop i went ahead and did the drums with uh halfway so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and play y'all a quick snippet real quick that warhol recorded on this so uh, who got the rest who got the rest yeah. uh, who uh, and I'm about to get money, niggas in it, motherfucker. And I'm tired of rap, niggas steady calling me twin when I in his blood, brother. You was never in the trenches, and nigga, I stepped that. You can never imagine them head cracks, and I know you never got them hands dirty. Niggas still on the porch, still faking. You ain't never. So yeah, that was a quick snippet that Warhol went ahead and recorded on the uh, on the beat. So yeah, let's take a listen to the loop real quick. I kept it pretty simple in the beginning. It just keeps repeating itself. And then for the hook, I open it up. I keep it going like this for the rest of the hook. And then for the verse, I went ahead and switched it up. So yeah, that was pretty much that for the loop. So to break it down, uh, what I went ahead and did was first go into Electra X because I was feeling creative. It was like four in the morning. I went ahead and played out these chords were in the scale of A sharp minor. Yeah, and I left a little gap right here. I don't know why, but for the processing, I went ahead and process process these a lot. I want to make it more unique. Went ahead and added a reverb, turn up the wet knob, kept the dry right here. Uh, super VHS. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I'm really not that sure what this does, but it made it sound better. So I pressed magic and turned up the wash. I added an iHeart NY. Uh, shout out to them. It's a pretty cool plugin. Basically, it's just a compressor, I guess. Then Comeback Kid, this is one of my favorite like ambient delays, or I don't even know what it is. I just know it was a delay and it's hard. So analog delay, basic preset, I have it on one eighth. And I didn't really mess with anything else except in the mixer, I turned it down to 47%. So without the processing, we have this. It's pretty lame, but with it, this kind of spices it up. So next up, I went ahead and added uh, this Electra Ed sound right here. Yeah, and the preset for that was Roy Major, the program. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, break down the second Electra Ed's layer. Uh, it's custom, I'm not really sure where this is from, but the ARP is called Morphing uh, Time 10. Uh, but this is what it sounds like. You can hear like the creaking, like the weird effects. You hear that? hard so for the processing for this was just an eq some of the low end out some of the high end out i put on a super vhs uh the magic with the wash up uh compressor just turned up the output a little bit pretty reverb 2 turned up the wet turned up the dry comeback kid i basically just copied the presets from the first one and then pancake 2 which is a free panning plugin i use in a lot of like my hi-hats or like my melodies like this I switched the LFO to two bars so it moves slower and that was basically the processing for this. This is what it sounds like without the processing versus with it. It just sounds more ambient, more flush, more like listenable. So next up, I went ahead and added this Nets Electra Etz sound. I wanted to be more like creative with my sound so I use more Electra Etz. Uh, but yeah, this is a this is also the same preset and I guess I just switched it up Parametric EQ It's just a, this melody the whole purpose of this I was I was just experimental I was really going for like some Pierre vibes just to keep it like repetitive But I ended up getting this which it, it came out of my favor. So Went ahead and threw on an S1 imager. I don't know why the plugin isn't popping up, but basically what it does is kind of like image out your sound. You could like narrow it in, you can narrow it out to where it sounds like it's in the center of the beat, or you could have it to where it sounds like it's on the outside of it, if that makes sense. Then I went ahead and added another super VHS. I basically just copied this from the other channels, same uh, presets, 
NYC, the same one. Meta filter, I'm not sure why this one isn't popping up, but basically what this is is just like different filtered presets. Um, just like kind of sweeps. I think I added a sweeping to this. So that was that. Comeback Kid uh, had one eighth preset feedback right here. Pancake 2, I went ahead and just panned it left to right, added the two bars to LFO. And that was basically that for that one. Then for the last sound, I went ahead and uh, added whatever this thing is. Uh, it's a synth called Falling Up from Top Sounds Audio. Very subtle. Added a Fruity EQ. You can some of the lowest some of the high end out. Added portal. Uh, shout out to Steven Schaefer and uh, Pilgrim for the new portal bank that they dropped a little while ago. I used the water preset uh, and kind of just turned it down to like about 23%. And then I added Fruity Reverb, turn up the wet, turn down the dry a little bit. And then I EQ some of the low end out. So yeah, so after all of that, this is the melody that we got. This very weird experimental and ambient and i was originally actually going to scratch this beat um so i went ahead and exported the loop and then me and half ended up doing the drums so go ahead and go over to here this is what we got for the drums i switched it up into two different parts i have them like a main like a default just y'all will listen To switch it up for the hook just make it more energetic and more like whoa so yeah so you guys are just gonna go ahead and break it down real quick i'll do the first 808 pattern that uh, i did and then i'll break down the pattern that half broke down so this is what we got right here and all these sounds are available in my go-to drum kit very unique 808 pattern that was the one i did and then this is what half did just made it more energetic for the hook yeah it's very repetitive super repetitive but catchy so that was that for the 808 pattern then let's just go ahead and get into the rest of the drums you know we got the basic clap hits on the same spot then we went ahead and got this little snare bounce that I did yeah just like that and then for the hi-hats y'all know I'm kind of like a hi-hat god I mean y'all see the drip man look at it look at it like who, who's doing this who's doing that let, 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 let's be real okay yeah yeah very repetitive yeah damn next up we got this snare just different just the main snare and then this one just bouncing off of each other as you can see, I mess with the velocity a little bit, just kind of help with the bounce. Next up, we got this open hat. Damn. And this was actually a MIDI that I dragged in from my uh, go-to drum kit, my open hat MIDIs. I just dragged in number one, um, and then you know, just got this. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is a nice vibe. And then next up, we got this open hat. And then I left this one open because I didn't want it too repetitive. Yeah. And that was that basically that for the drums. So it just goes from this. So 
yeah, that was basically that for the drums. Uh, the 808, you know, obviously just goes from the intro. I have it hitting like this. And then it goes into the hook and his 808 switches up. And it just repeats like that for the rest of the hook right here. And then in the verse is whenever I introduce the Nets 808 pattern just to keep it more low key, it's more subtle and shit. So. second part of the verse I add the more energetic part so yeah so basically the way that I went ahead and arranged it was obviously I laid it out like this for the loop wise but like beat wise we got the intro right here we got the hook and then we got the verse and then the bridge it basically just repeats itself from this about three times and I wanted the beat, this was just one of those beats I wanted to play in a studio session and it just immediately just, you just hear the vibe immediately. So what I did was change my grid to step and then I could get it. I went ahead and just moved this over like this where it hits on the clap and then moved the 808 over and then that gave me this. Woo! This beat, let me tell y'all real quick, man. This beat hits in the studio so yeah that was basically that for the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys are interested in copying my new existing sample library i'll have the link for it in the description or one of these little pop-up links up here as always i appreciate you guys for supporting me make sure y'all go follow warhol once again on instagram right here follow split mine also follow your boy chase vibes once again i appreciate y'all and bless you.